I look at Genelia Farm as an experiment. We are really trying to ask, is there a different model, a different way human beings can interact to pursue basic knowledge in the biological sciences that would be more powerful than the typical research environment? Here at Genelia, you can get into a conversation with someone at lunch and say, let's go get a coffee in the pub and sit there for five hours talking to one another. People are unscheduled here. They are free, they have the freedom of time. They can actually think about what they're doing in an uninterrupted way. They can have deep conversations. They can go off on tangents. This kind of freedom is really not present anymore in the typical academic environment. I'm Jerry Rubin. I'm a vice president of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute and executive director of the Genelia Farm Research Campus. There are many scientists who are loners. Those people would not prosper here. People who enjoy science as a social enterprise, enjoy discussing ideas, enjoy solving problems together. That's what's developed here. It's really quite remarkable. Mm. So that variable, and then we have these from different specimens, how close are they or not? Mm -hmm. so. I studied a number of different institutions, uh, but the two that were the best models for me were the Medical Research Council Laboratory of Molecular Biology and Bell Labs. They're both regarded as the the most successful research enterprises during their heyday in their fields. And I found that they shared an amazing set of common principles. First, the research labs were small, so the scientists actually worked in the lab with their own hands. The funding was all internal. People didn't write outside grants. They weren't trying to use their entrepreneurial instincts to try to raise money. They were thinking about their science. They were encouraged to work on hard problems that other people weren't able to tackle. Genelia has now been open for four years. In those years, I think we've come a long way to meeting our initial goal, which was to recruit a diverse group of extremely talented scientists and support staff, get them working together in an effective way to solve important problems. You know, I mean, double sex does have divergent C-terminal domains, right, for the male and female right. side of things, and that could be what's going on there. Genelia has one mission, that's to do science. Everyone who works here, from the administrative staff to the IT department, their only goal is to support science. Many of the people are co-authors on papers. They're treated with a kind of respect that is not common elsewhere. Everything we do has to be tied back to, does it support doing original and creative science? We've picked a small number of problems here how nervous system works at the level of single cells and circuits, building new imaging equipment and software to analyze images, as opposed to a typical biology department, which is very diverse on the problems, but very narrow on the approach. So we have physicists, computer scientists, biologists working together to build a new microscope, to have the software to drive it, to analyze the data, to produce the right biological specimens. So, very broad, very diverse at the level of discipline, but very focused on the problem. But our diversity comes from the breadth of the people that we've recruited to do that. Long-range research projects, to me, are projects that clearly have a very important goal, but you don't yet know exactly what path you're going to take to get there. You can't write, in year one, I will do this, then based on this result, in year two, I'll do this. It's like, I'm going to wander around, I see the mountain in the distance, I'm gonna find a path through the woods. I don't know how many rivers I have to cross. I don't know how I'm gonna get there. I know where I'm going and I'm gonna figure it out as I go. When I talk, as I often do, to groups of postdocs or students about a career in science, I ask them one question. Can you imagine yourself doing anything else that you would find equally satisfying? And if the answer is yes, you should do that other thing because it will be easier, it will pay better, it'll have more job security. The only reason anyone should go into science is that they can't imagine themselves doing anything else. The people I want to recruit to Genelia are the people that say, I know what I want to do, I'm going to do something really important. I'm passionate, committed about it. This is what I live for every day. I just want someone to give me the money and get out of my way. That's what I'm looking for.